Um, hello. In this video, we are going to talk about how to make VS Code minimal, distraction-free IDE for your needs. So by default, when you launch VS Code for the first time, or if you have not customized it, you see some window like this. You have tabs up top, you have a file explorer, you have an activity bar on left, and you have some minimap on the right. Maybe you have also some other tools in here, like for example, the outlines. Sometimes you have those. And, but based on the different files, you probably have other outlines. So how to make it less distraction free? So most of the times you just want to write the code. And at the same time, you want, to, you want it to be easy to use all the great tools provided by VS Code. If you want to do a search, if you want to do um, Git, if you want to do um, version control, debugging, testing, and extensions. So how to do this? So by default, VS Code provides some key bindings. So first of all, we add some key bindings to improve the default keys, but uh, and basically add consistency, consistency to them. So for example, if you do control G, this is for go to a line. So let's go to line 200. But I want on Mac to have the same feeling. So I basically want to tell my VS code or, or in, in my mind, I want to say, okay, replace every key that starts with control and um, press command instead. So if I do command G now, I have the same thing. If I do command G, I go to a line. It's also control G as well. So I add this for go to a line. I have command and tilde basically to my terminal emulator because I want consistency because control tilde will does this by default, but I want consistency. So then I have two key bindings, which are new key bindings or I don't know, maybe they override some default, which I didn't use. So the first one is command or control based on the environment, either if you are on Windows or Linux, it's control. If you are on Mac, it's command. And it will toggle the focus between the sidebar that is open and the editor. So if I'm on, in the editor part, if I do command one, I go to this file explorer. And if I do command one again, I jump back into my editor. Same with control two, but it's a bit different. This toggles the visibility of this sidebar. So if you do command two, I toggle the sidebar. If I do it again, so it's basically the toggling. It's the same behavior as command B or control B. And there are also some default key bindings that go to different tools in here. So if I do command shift E, it opens up Explorer. If I do command shift F, it goes to the search. Command shift G, um, command shift G will open up source control. And command shift and T will move me to um, testing area and command shift X will go to extensions. I added some key bindings and I will show you how to, you can do these kind of key bindings. So for example, if I'm in extensions and if I do command shift X, I jump back. So um, I, I, I can also jump back with these keys, but also I can jump back and forth with command one which is a rather convenient. So these are the default key bindings. I also have some uh, uh, IDE features or basically keys that most of the times uh, will be bound to LSP stuff. So by default, I don't know actually what's the default key for that, but let me split this window, okay? And let me close this, zoom out a bit, okay? So 
I have this command or control shift and dot to go to the Phoenician. I have command shift and comma to jump back where I jumped from. So for example, it's like um, if you, it's like you go to the Phoenician in Vim and do control O to go back. I also have um, find references. So command shift and R to find references in here. And this is a sidebar, so I can easily jump back and forth with my command one. I don't know why VS Code is showing this um, wrong, but it's I'm pressing command one. And we also have command shift I for the implementation. So if I, for example, do this, and it does not find any implementations. So let's see if we can find a, uh, yes. So this is all the implementations of this typer thing. These are default VS Code features, but I have them bound to keys that I can easily remember. Basically all non-text editing stuff, most of the times goes to control shift. These are control shift and Maybe I need to bind these to control shift and one and control shift two, but these are things that probably need to be as short as possible because they are toggling behaviors. So I also disable the status bar, the activity bar, the minimap and the breadcrumbs. I disabled them all. So in my settings, I also sometimes disable tabs because other, of course you can easily jump between your open files using control and tab. Also, most of the times you actually don't need to know what files you have open because you can easily jump with command or control shift P. Command P or Control P. So for example, I can jump to this file. I can go to this file. Each file that I want to go is easily accessible using Command P or Control P in Windows. So if I jump back to my settings file, you see that I have a rather large settings file. This is the Vim section that I don't use now. So let's fold that. So I have many things but the most important one is I disable tabs, I disable status bar and I change my window title to be um, the, basically the file and the root that VS Code is launched on so it's basically the current working directory of VS Code and I have um, for example changed my cursor blinking to be solid so I don't want my cursor blink all the time it's a distraction. I also use the um, settings editor to be JSON instead of a UI. I find this more convenient. Then I have some extension um, based plugins, um, extensions uh, based configurations. And finally down here I have um, disabled breadcrumbs and minimap that we just disabled. So this is a rather short video. I just wanted to show that you don't need to necessarily use Emacs or Vim or NeoVim to, be, to have a minimalist um, IDE and a keyboard-centric IDE. I mean, here I can easily install an extension if I want. I can go search for, a th search for something. So for example, Impel something. And I can see all of these. There are still shortcuts that I like to have. So for example, if I'm on in this search box, maybe if I can easily tap to first result would be nice. I don't know the command yet. Or if I want to do some debugging, I can go to debugger easily. Also testing. So yeah, so this is uh, what I wanted to show you.
that you can easily make VS Code a really simple and minimalist tool that I really love myself. Coming, um, I use editors, Vim, uh, NeoVim most of the times, Emacs most of the times, and VS Code, and I really like this setup. This is a rather um, minimalist and simple setup that I can easily work and love. Also, you can always install the Vim extension for VS Code and be even more keyboard centric. But since uh, you cannot um, enable Vim kind of shortcuts in most places, I rather not do this in VS Code. So yeah, this is a this is it. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, please subscribe and like the video. And if you have anything to tell me, please um, leave me a comment. Thank you and goodbye.